Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm just enjoying this nice quiet evening. It's cooling off, it's a little bit windy. I was going to do a review and then I thought maybe I won't do a review. Then I decided I'll do a review. And what I'm going to review today is Cornell and Deal's Engine 382. And what's special about this blend is the fact that it has deer tongue in it. Now in case you're afraid, deer tongue isn't actual deer's tongue. It is a type of plant, which I'll show right here, that you can use the leaves for a flavor that's somewhat similar to, that people have compared it to vanilla, mint, but I would say it's most easily compared to if you've ever had chamomile tea. Maybe add a little bit of vanilla. So vanilla, chamomile tea. Or maybe a tiny bit of mint, but maybe not. Maybe like the very littlest mint. You kind of get a mint and mint sometimes just shows up in a lot of floral things, which might be the case in this. And there's a couple other blends that use deer tongue that probably other people are familiar with. The more popular crooner which is a cube cut burley. I think it's just a straight cube cut burley with deer tongue. And then there's Gentleman Collar. And then there's a few other ones, I think, from some other makers besides Cornell and Deal, other blenders. But this one is very similar to Kroner. Oh, what's in it basically is white burley, dark burley, um, Perique, and bright Virginia. And when I first tasted it, I was thinking, I don't think there's any perique in it. But actually, now that I'm tasting it, I can get a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that fruitiness. You can you can taste it with the, the Virginia. It's It's got a little bit of a sweetness, but it's way in the background. Mostly what you're actually tasting is a dark, the dark toasty burleys. So if you're a fan of crooner, this would be, this would be good as well, because it's burley based. And that's in, con and, and so it would be a pretty stout blend. Especially once it gets down half the bowl. At the beginning it's a little bit light and sweet, but then as it goes down those toasty burleys really come out. It's not like the sweet burleys that you might get in a like Carter Hall or something. It's more of those Cornell and Deal toasty dark burleys that really come out towards the end. I really enjoy that. And then the deer tongue just takes the edge off. But it's definitely there. When you smell the pouch note, that's you don't even smell the burley. You just smell that floral, vanilla chamomile smell. And one thing nice about adding deer tongue instead of an actual topping is um, I imagine a topping can maybe cause tongue bite because of the extra sugars, but since this is just a plant, it's just a leaf, I imagine you can actually avoid some of that tongue bite. It's all, it's more natural tasting tobacco, natural burning tobacco, uh, vegetation, But I really, I really enjoy this. It's if you like toasty burleys, and you like deer tongue, I can't see why you wouldn't enjoy this. But if you don't like deer tongue or you've never tried it, definitely get a sample of this before you go out and buy a lot of it. Mm, I can't stop puffing on it. Usually I'm a slow smoker, but this is really hitting the spot today. Mm, I'll show you the cut actually too, right here. I put a couple of the little pieces of deer tongue, the green leaves, off to the side so you can kind of have it, see what it looks like in there. So yeah, I guess that's it. Pretty short review. Um, if you like deer tongue reviews, it's really cheap in bulk from Cornell and Deal. Definitely check it out. So until next time, take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.